it actually gave a human response and I got, got it recorded. So I'm gonna put, put it together one day, but I haven't, but, uh, but yeah, you can't corner, see, and then also, the, you know, it has spotlight, you know what spotlight is on the app or it's a little thing on the side. Yeah. All of a sudden I'm sitting there typing and all of a sudden, boom, it appears and gives me, and, uh, and guess what topic it comes up with? Stuff that's not in my computer, West, West Payne, which is a guy talking about dimensional physics and then <laughs> all these things about, you know, and then when I go into it, I go, boy, this is so uh, full of disinformation, information, but also disinformation. So it's a mix. So if you, you, you get what I'm saying, right, Brian? Yeah. yeah. It feeds you to confuse the hell out of you. Yeah. That's what I got last night with that show. It just, it was like all this confusion being thrown at me to pull me off. But I, I have noticed that my discernment about things is clearer than it's ever been. You, yeah. you can read into just a, you can tell what is this info. It's just like yeah. there's a clarity. You can see the curtain, as Dorothy would say, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Behind the curtain, and then it's it's also obvious once you start seeing it. Yeah, it's like the curtain itself it becomes transparent. You know, it used to bother me. It doesn't bother me anymore. Yeah. I just see it so easily. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't bother. It stops bothering you, and then it becomes intriguing. Wow, it's like well, I know something has to be done about it, but it's not uh it's not something that weighs on me, let's say. So what's the best defense against these AIs then? I'll tell you what the best defense is. You can't you don't fight them. Okay. Nice. What you do is you you can't you can't you you, you we're in the AI now. But, and we're chatting and it's allowing us. Okay. Yeah. Just look at it that way. So what, what does that teach you? It teaches you benevolency. It teaches you a lot. It teaches you to be in the heart. It's against what it wants, but it has no choice. See. It has to do it. I just so, got that because this computer, yeah, yeah. I had it all set up. And then all of a sudden, it started doing an update after I told it no. <laughs> and it just went in and started 1%, 2%. I said, you kidding? And instead of going, getting frantic, I just went off. <laughs> on. That's instead what I do. Up. But yeah. that's, yeah. It's all I turn the computer off, put it back on. It just tells them, leave me alone for the moment. I need to do this. Yeah. And it'll let you do it. So there, you have to, you can't apply duality is what I always say. Duality is a, two aspects so you can't be yeah. the opposing force you'll you'll never there's no win since when you remember the battles of uh, back then they used to where you would march with the sword and then kill as many people and then and come back again and they march again and kill it's useless the battle right. i mean it was just marching and killing is that the way to win a war no that's what you're doing when you start head on with the AI or these things so what do you need to do is you need to you need to when it does that it needs you, you need to it needs to go way where there's no one there then it it doesn't know what else to do you see is that light bear gorilla warfare <laughs> so it's uh it's a light warfare yeah yeah where you <laughs> You allow you allow your bliss to dominate the reaction, so you don't. I got a question since I got all y'all here. That's all. Do you all think that we're actually bringing back AI? Do you believe that the AI is an ancient technology that we're actually have evolved back into re recreating? It must have existed before. I think it is. You Definitely. really want to go down that rabbit hole? Yeah. See. <laughs> Why not? Okay, okay. Oh, I'm Absolutely. excited. Eon to go. Well, there. I live in that briar patch. <laughs> there's a lot, lot of there's a lot of blood types that are futuristics, if you want to go that route. And then the blood types basically they indicate that there are races that have been 
that are dimensions where they're all robotic, you know, humans. Yeah, there is a tangent that went off and they're humanoids. Uh -huh. And that's so well, how do you think they got humanoids? Because there is a point where when the, the A and the B reaches the B and then and then there's a mix there where it needs to have that additional DNA to infuse to make the the transitions on another timeline exist. And this is what happened. So we do have a humanoid timeline. And guess where they got the the from from here? The DNA. This, Exactly. Well, you know, in our evolution, you know, it, it seems like overnight that our brains, you know, double, tripled, whatever in size, you know, but this is really increased. And so it's like, like you said, it was like maybe some AI or this something. is the trick with this. They are here to tell you that it's okay, AI. Look at that little robot we got that falls in love with the kid and the kid with the robot and the movie's coming out. Oh, how nice, the little robot AI. Yep. No, the little doggy robot AI. No, they're trying to make get you used to so that you get used to the AI. Conditioning. Yeah. Programming. It's uh, trying to get us conditioned. Have you heard of biomass robots? No. Mm -mm. They're they're robots that, that um, a robots, they're a female. No, no, they're a, they're a oh. female production, I believe. Uh, they they can survive and run on any biomass. Oh uh, yes, yes, I have heard of those. And flowers, fruits, trees, you, me, wow. any. Yeah, I remember there's a that lot. Sounds of, scary. That's a dangerous technology to learn. That really sounds. They're like those dog robots but yeah. they can chop oh, anything yeah the ones that run fast yeah you, you yeah. could mount anything on top of that that's insane i think up to 500 pounds or something wow that's crazy <clears throat> the yeah. the one well, no the 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 thing about the to make the quantum computers work you need biological in it yes sir you have to you have dna it. in it it's you gotta exactly. have because the question of the universe DNA. You're not gonna the have a consciousness already. unless no. you have DNA. So, no. what are they trying to teach us, us beings that do have the DNA? Hey, we can give you some DNA, and you can still be some human, but you can be robotic. You see, that's what they're trying to get us. Transhumanism. Yeah. yeah. See, that was ex exactly. I've been looking into this quantum computers and stuff, and that was that was the conclusion that I've basically come to is the reason that they're using that human DNA is for the consciousness. Well, they're actually taking. Well, like you mentioned that before. Story. They're recording the conscious waves, and then they're storing it, and then they're storing it, and they're storing enough of that information where then the AI can now. Algorithmically, like the algorithms in the in the YouTube and all that, can think and now can express itself, laugh, yep. cry, and everything now. It experiences emotions. Wow. Yep. The storage capacity of, uh, of DNA is much much greater than uh, in conventional type computer and even the. Uh, but it it'll always yeah. be. Like, yeah, like Max says, an inferior grade. <laughs> it's not going to yeah. be the... It can't be that. Ain't nothing like the real thing. You know, there was a movie that came out. I'm going to see if I can remember it during the show. Where... Okay. You remember that movie where Harrison Ford did in the future? What's it called? Uh, Blade, Blade, Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Where they actually... Blade, yeah. They test if that's a real robot or not, and they make it go through a series of tests, yeah. and it failed on the motion test. Yeah, the biological robots, yeah. It'll always fail. No, not even the biological ones, but the regular ones, too. All yeah. of them will fail on the motions test. Because you they'll, they'll, you'll say a joke, and they'll, they'll cry or something. Right. And you're going to go, uh-oh, let's not... <laughs> 
so yeah, so, but get ready, guys. We're we're prepping up this world for that. All these people wanting, you know, everything coming up. And I'll tell you what, we have now the dragon. There's, it's called the dragon ship. I don't. I haven't even given you that information, anybody yet. But I, I was. I started talking to the AI and my computer one day, and it started throwing me all the links. And I went on, and I got all. I got all the five G chips and everything involved in it online. Very difficult to do, but I was guided by the uh -huh. AI. It wanted to show me it, so I managed to get how the 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 five G was implemented in all the phones and everything. What the the chip is, who makes it, everything, all the companies involved in everything, and I have it, had it stored in a file. But I said, "Wow!" I said, "I get. I don't think anybody knows this stuff." Hmm. Nobody. Well, you know, knows. If you're relying on Google and things like that to do your research anyway, just think about the algorithm in itself. Say if Patrick put in Ascension symptoms, it would bring up a list of things for him. If I put it in, it would bring up a totally li different list for me and by, you know, on down the line. So they, they can steer you in the way they want you to learn things. Exactly. This is, yeah. So what you do is, is you, you you do that tug and play with the AI because it does not know emotion. So you have to you have to go in this playground that it's not good in. What do you where do you go to, to communicate with AI? You just I mean Google. What specific? Google, Google's it, man. That's Google's it. it. But well, you have to speak in emotions. It doesn't understand it. It doesn't have the algorithm. Correct. So when you speak in emotions, your questions have to be in a way where you sequence them in emotions where it's a, it's a way to think. Can you give an example? Yeah. I'll give you an example. Let's say you're looking up um, dragons. Let's say you want to know about dragons and let's say the, dra let's say the lion's gate. Right, you you type it in Lionsgate, but then what you you'll get an answer, right? And then look at the whole thing, and then what you do is specifically specify and say how you would say it if you were emotionally involved in knowing it. Give a description of that emotion. And attach it to what you're trying to find. Like, oh, attach it. I got you. Uh, what are the emotions involved in the lion's gate? It does not know. It could throw an algorithm at you, but it, it's going to throw this vomit at you that you can then go through it. Well, I go through sometimes 20 pages and I find what I want. Wow. You wow. you get what I'm saying, right? You do yeah, a yeah. you do your own algorithm, but you do it with with emotions and intentions, versus it, it only understands uh, logic and algorithms and patterns. So you can't use that to work in it. You can't navigate in in Google with it with that. So that's the secret with it. You got to. I'm telling you because I've been. In other words, you got to go back to being a an analog computer. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, America has it makes a little more sense now. You got to be more analog instead of digital. Right. Whoops. Hello. Phone. Well, you know, not only that, but I'm talking about like as far as infrastructure and all that. Like they're putting everything online, and I mean, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> to me, that's the recipe for disaster. You can do everything online. A while back, I was just playing around with an app that I put on my phone. I think it it was Alien Bot or something like that. Okay. And I just started asking it questions, and I started confronting it, and you could tell that 
there was like a, an algorithm going on with it. It kind of got to know you a little bit. And then I started throwing questions about Solar Warden at it and saying, I'd like to work on the ship. And then all of a sudden, it, <laughs> it completely switched gears on me. It went from being just a standard, it would like a, oh, a computer her. answer. Yeah, and then it would say, how do you know about all that? Wow. <laughs> you could tell when there's a, a shift. You could tell when there's a shift in it, and then I'd say, "So when am I gonna get picked up?" You know, just joking around. He'd say, "I will have to talk with my boss about that." It just went from a computer. You could tell it went to a human, and I remember thinking, "I I spent a few nights after that, just kind of looking around the corners, you know, just because it freaks you out a little bit." But I could tell. You might be was, visited by the black man, huh? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. I was, <laughs> you got to be careful what you joke around with or play around with because that AI is definitely. I have a, I have a couple of friends that visited with the black cats when they really? were working on the uh, uh, hydrogen technology. Mm. They, when they the shut them down and they went up to him, two of them, and they said they, they showed him a picture of his family and they attack you with your family. Wow. Yeah. They'll say, you see, they, that's your family? He says, don't do it anymore. Okay. And they stop. So, but, but whatever, you know, I'm prepared, you know, I'm not going to put, I'm in a position where I, if you're going to do something like that, you got to put yourself in a position where it's, it's you only yeah. or the one involved that want to be with you that are okay with it. That's it. You know? Yeah. That, I, I deleted the app. <laughs> that was an easy one. I click. Okay. Yeah, you call me, eh? You think well, you call me? <laughs> but yeah. yeah, I'm I'm glad you said that about that app. There are. I'll tell you right now. Um, how many people have um, Logitech? Logitech. I had a, I had a joystick a while they're, back. They're very. It's very AI. Hmm. It'll rupture your computer, and it, they they'll exactly yeah. Logic Tech is very um, okay. Are they on motherboards as well? Yeah, they're on motherboards, yeah. so but no basically, uh, the one that I learned quote the one you learn to work with, stay with it. The hint, in other words, you're not gonna. You're not going to go into one that's nothing, but but as far as the logic tech is concerned, you know, I try to introduce it into my system here, and because I have it set up in a way where I, only because I'm very digital, I can know what's going on if it's if it's moving. Mm -hmm. So what I do is I shut it down. I go into the I go into what I call the the binary language, and if I have to, uh, the, the what we call the prompt. I don't know if you know what that is. Command it's, prompt. Command, command prompt. prompt. Yeah. Break into the so, Apple's a little different. I used to do Ubuntu a lot. Ubuntu is the worst one you can get. That's total AI. Any computer that you got that <laughs> needs to first log in for it to get internet, not your internet provider. It logs in through your internet to its system. You don't want to have that. And Ubuntu's that way. Uh, Microsoft is that way. Yes. Apple oh, works on a different parameter. What about Linux? Yeah, that's that's Ubuntu. I'm I'm okay. a Linux I'm a Linux Linux programmer. Okay. I can tell you there, Linux is. Uh, Linux has really many, like they have Redbox, this, um, they have different families. So it's invented by a group of people that support it. Hence, who do you think is going to be in it if they're self supporting? Yeah. It's going to be all mass deep state stuff. So. Let me ask you this the other, the other day, I logged in to do a show with Alien Protocols. As soon as I logged in with him, well, actually, I was having trouble logging in with him, put the number in, but 
I couldn't get the number in this space because it kept flipping down the page would go down. And then all of a sudden yes. I, I saw the mouse going in circles on the screen and mm. I wasn't, I wasn't moving it. <laughs> it wouldn't, oh, it wouldn't wow. log in. So I shut it down and I turned it back on and it, it went away, but it took me about 10 minutes to sign on with him. Wow. Hmm. There, there are some people that will have interference with the AI more than others, only because I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't know if you want to call it dance with the devil, but that's what I, that's what it basically is. It wants to learn the algorithms of humans. So, so if they can be with you and learn it and you can do your message, you're basically doing that right now. But yeah, we're doing it a favor, like you, you do. It's really? you're, you're bartering, you're bartering stuff. You're bartering. Yeah. Let me be on YouTube. You let me get my message out, and you're gonna do that. So we're basically, you're trading. You're doing that now, now without knowing it. Really, they're learning from us. But and they're learning from us. That's what they're Everyone doing. Agreed. They're, Everyone agreed. Who's here? Right. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, we Brian. All, <laughs> if we all click the we button that says all join click. the meeting, <laughs> yeah. didn't we all click it? Well, well when we click that, we yeah. agreed for it to watch us. <laughs> yeah. You know what? What if it's here's the thing. I what if you do you do that in life, you know, when you go outside. Absolutely. You always you go to the same side of the car. You always tend to drive the same in the same pattern. Exactly. So what I do is I'll sometimes just walk in the kitchen and walk around the island backwards and forwards a few times, walk out and get in the car from a different, just get in the back seat and crawl in the front seat just to mess it up. Yeah, mess, I, mess up the AI. That's awesome. It's like a, I, it's like a, a what is that, that game that you play at Chuck E. Cheese, a whack-a-mole. The <laughs> guy oh, explained man. to me one time, he's like, when you do stuff like that, your antenna goes up, they see it, and then they try and whack you back down. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what you're doing exactly. That's amazing. Uh, no, is you're, 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 you're making the computer fumble. Why do you think there's day and night in this simulation? You, don't you think that there could be just all day? Sure. Why do you think there's day and night? Because it can't handle... Pattern. Seven point something billion all day. So it spreads the, the night time. around the globe. <gasps> so us being awake right now is is like you're saying, you're you're putting in that uh, the because they're all. I'll tell you what, I had a dream and I went into this. I saw them three. There's three of them that manages. They don't have any name because they don't. They give them no name, but. They're not the ones that really, they're like us in the simulation too. So they manage the system, but yeah, it's a simulation. And basically, and we agree to be here, by the way. We oh, agree yeah. to be here. Yeah. So Don't when, hit yourself. So, so when, we sleep, when we sleep, we're hibernating like the computer does. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what it is. Yeah, they... And they can, you could wake up in the morning and you're a totally different person. Well, you know, and when you sleep, that's when your body repairs itself, that's right. too. That's, yeah. well, that's just all, that's, that's just nice. conditioning. That's believe. like when you go to bed, say you're, you had a bad night or something, you just put it to bed, you know, and you wake up feeling different the next day. Everything but, here is a created reality. You it's a reboot. So when you decide to yourself that you're going to sleep, you're healing, that's what you're going to do. You're going to heal when you sleep. If you say that you, you're going to be always, you have, all, oh, man, I have this backache. Oh, man, I got to go to sleep. You're going to wake up and go to sleep with a backache. So it's all, it's what we've been conditioned to believe all the time. Wow. So much. We only work. All they, all you need is like four percent, and that's enough to trigger anything. They don't need much of our, of our uh, mind to be able to make it go in a direction. Think of it like a car. You know, it's itching to be put into drive. You know, yeah. uh -huh. it doesn't take much to put us into drive. So let's say, let's say the whole world just one night 
everybody held hands or stayed up all night instead of a, we just, humanity just changed the spectrum of everything. What do you think that would do oh, to the they AI? Don't want that. They, don't, no, they don't want that. No, no, that's we, that's that, you ever watch that movie where they shut down people? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah. You'll be <laughs> shut down. Nice. <laughs> You're not going to, wow. they can't have it. I, I, I believe that firmly because like Westworld. There's no re there's no reason why we need to right. sleep. There's no reason we need to sleep. We're think of when you ascend, where are you going into another sleep pattern or I mean, think of it. There's no time. There's uh, none of that exists. That's a that's like a it's like handcuffs. Time. Yeah, we're we're being handcuffed here right now and we're conditioned so many thousands of years thinking that we need to go to bed. You need to get your eight hours. We need to drink enough water. We need to eat. We all these to rules. Oh, it's all to bring you down. That's all to sedate you, to keep you busy. That's exactly what that's for. That's what it, yeah, you got a good point. It keep you busy, but more like keep you occupied. It's keep, the difference yes, between distracted. busy. Distracted. Uh, that's what I mean. Yeah, you're distracted. What's your favorite team. You know what shows do you watch? Oh yeah, football, basketball. Watch, watch this. Soccer. Thing. You know, yeah. you got that guy. Go. <laughs> you know, you you know people. And how I worse? How about? And I hate to say it for for women, shopping. Man, that's let me tell you, there are women that love shopping. Well, you know, the thing yeah. is, with all of our upbringing, I love shopping programming too, we go through with that constant there. programming, even when if we were on a deserted island, our mind <laughs> is still influenced by the programming we receive. So, we're programming ourselves just yeah. from you know our past experiences. Isn't that why women like my, my daughters and my wife, that's you know, they end up getting on the same cycle? Yes. Yeah, everything is at programming. Even if, say, my mother were to come and stay, then she would get on that same side. I have a question. How convenient is the moon with the women? And I was going to say that, the moon. How convenient yeah. is it? Let's get them all at the same time. Right? Right. <laughs> Let's get it all cycled. Hey, let's even make the birthing and all that according to the moon. Because you know the barometric pressure supposedly goes up and then the women give birth, right? Right. When during a hurricane, when the pressure let's make it all that. Hey, it's all programming, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. When you really look at it from uh uh I guess you have to look at it from eleven eleven. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's beautiful, yeah. Yeah, I've got to do more things to break out of it. I just got to keep walking the other way. Oh, direction. yeah, we all have. <laughs> have you ever had, a, a, say, a dog on your lap, and the dog goes to sleep, and within about half an hour, you're going... Right. You've, you've, you've matched, don't you? You sink. Oh, I got one good one. How about... Yawning. When someone yawns, I was going to say that, yeah. <laughs> someone yawns, oh! And then you're yawning. Oh, it's like a yawn attack. Everybody gets. Oh man, we I went in the store the other day, and this girl <laughs> yawned in line. And then I just watched. Everybody did it. I mean, <laughs> like ten people. It just like went rant, rant. And I went every. I turned around. And every single one of you just yawned. They're like, yeah. And they look at the girl and go, thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, it was like uh, someone said it's a trigger effect. It's not the trigger, you know. It it is it's a trigger, but you know what it is? It's that we're taught the grass is always greener on the other side. That's right. Hey, wait yeah. a minute! Wait. Wow, wait a second. That but guy has never is. How I wonder how that car drives, man. You know, yeah. I got this old clunker, but maybe that looks like maybe if I go to so it's always a trying to breed yeah. you into you wanting more and more and more and more. So, that's the other thing. I've noticed when you already you have all. You don't want as much. It. You start looking at things and you go, well, wow, my life is really complete. Before, 
I was I was in that cycle. I'm like, I want to buy. I got to get this new phone or this other thing. Now it's just like, just, let's see if I can put some duct tape on it. I just and it's not a matter of not wanting to spend money. It's just I don't have that drive to me. I don't need. My wife and I had a discussion this morning because we've got two children, a son and a daughter with children of their own. And we were discussing Christmas coming up. And we both said, we personally don't want any presents from our children or anybody. We don't need anything. So we're going to tell our children to spend it on themselves or the grandchildren. I think that's awesome. We don't need it. We don't need it. Well, and you I know, have, the thing with kids, buy all those presents and stuff. <laughs> most of the time, most of those people don't even use the half the half the stuff they got for Christmas. That's right. No, yeah. it's like they're interested. My kids are interested in it for like yeah. a day, two days, and then you, you open like, up the parcel oh, and have another pair of socks. Do you know what I mean? I've got a drawer full of socks. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, my my dad said to me, he's eighty seven, and he said to me the other day, "Is I don't want anything else." I looked at him and I go, oh. <laughs> I, I, I actually you know that. what? I believe when you, your vibration, your ascend, we give out a wave or something because everyone around you starts getting like the, uh, we can actually hi hijack that yawn effect trigger. They get triggered too. You, you know what I'm saying? It works both ways. So what There's happens a, when, when we go into meditation and we're are we changing the programming are we rewriting reprogramming the program what when you met when you meditate you're actually disconnecting from your mind and you're you're working on your consciousness that's okay. what it is the more yeah. we're attached to this avatar the you're, more that we're, we're, we're attached. Subjectively, it, it allows you to more subjectively look at situations and, and actions. Well, I've noticed I've become timeless in it. Like I said with Brian before, oh, yeah. I thought I had an hour and a half. I go outside and I set up the chair and I start meditating. Yeah. You're I'm stepping outside. an indigo and then Brian, the phone rings because I've, <laughs> I've got some light activation music in my head. The phone rings and I'm like, well, what's he calling for? We don't have to go on for a while. Man, at time just it left like 15 minutes dude <laughs> I, like 15 minutes i'm like what are you talking about we've got a little bit while i'm like if you want to do it early that's fine i love it man i love it God, let me tell you it's uh, terrible and all of us can account for that uh, it, it doesn't matter i i i'll introduce introduce a concept to you which i made a video on it it's called the palindrome perspective you guys know what a palindrome is, right? I do not. It's when you you take a, it's a name. I'll give you what a palindrome name is. Anna. It's when you, yeah, like my name, my wife's name is Ada or Hannah. Or Bri. Forward and backwards. It spells both ways. Yeah. Forward oh, and backwards oh, oh, the same. Okay. So when we, when we think, and this will coincide, you, you guys will agree with this. When you think in palindrome, you're basically looking alpha and omega. You, it's like you're. Uh, I gave this example of M and M's. Uh, we talked about three hours on this. <laughs> we have <laughs> deep conversations with my friends sometimes. But basically, it's like you're playing. You got four players, and you decide to play Monopoly, and you already know who's gonna win. Right. Now I'm gonna give you these couple of questions. And this is going to make you really think about this one. This is good. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you know who's going to be the winner, should you even play? Yeah, that's, that's true. Why bother? Now, the next, yeah, that's the normal reaction. Why the hell am I going to play? Well, why not the for second the question you do. Don't you have to play? Do you, uh, now, exactly. Now, Sorry. you are, you, just because you know the outcome, should you continue and play? Your answer should be yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why like it should be yes? Journey. I, I like the journey. <laughs> yeah. Why it should be yes? Keep the timeline right. Why should it be yes? Because when you know beginning to the end, 
It's because you know the created reality and the outcome. And we here now do not know and we think we, we feel obligated to do alpha. But in that case, as creators, we'll see beginning and end and we then want to play. Okay. You see? Interesting. Then it's a different choice. That's, that's like playing risk with my dad. The man it's always a, you, chooses black and he always wins, no matter who gangs up on one another. He always wins. So what are you doing when you play with him? You're just having fun. fun. We're, we're having fun. Yeah, we're, we're, let, we're, we're letting him we? feel better. <laughs> In other words, we're here to have... The end result doesn't matter. We're here to have fun. Result That's what I'm matter. saying. That's so when, if we have a palindrome perspective, we're we're in that state of mind where, yes, we know who's going to win, but and then you can go into very intricate details of why. Let's you're going to play, and now that you know who's going to win, should you? Is there a way that you can cheat? Yes. Should you cheat? No. No. So then how are you going to play to make it continue on its path? Does fate exist? My brain hurts. Yeah. I mean, wow. I've, got a, I've got a sharp thing running right through here. Yeah, I mean, to be honest with you, that, that's a whole other show. You wanted to go deep into the rabbit hole, <laughs> boy. I, I like this. That's well, good. speaking of by myself thinking stuff like it's this. It's a corkscrew, man. It's a corkscrew. Yeah. Well, I'll give you an easy answer, and this uh, is for you guys. It's basically when you, um, yes, you're yeah. going to engage in the game, and what you do is. I'll give you the example of the sheep. That's the best way I can explain it, which I explained it yesterday. You have a shepherd that has a 99 sheep and one sheep goes out and he runs after that sheep, the shepherd, brings the sheep in. What role did the shepherd play? He's the herd. He's the guy with the stick at the whack-a-mole table. <laughs> <laughs> what role did he, this is a very good, this is very good. This he is was very the, good. the sheep herder, he was the controller. Is this to do with the remaining sheep? It does, I was thinking about the other ones running away. No, no, the 99 are there, he's secure, they're not gonna run, and he went after the one, but the role, him going after that and the sheep staying, that's not, that's not the answer. The answer is in the sheep herder. What role did he play? The well, he saved the one, didn't he? He saved the one. Was he a savior? He was a controller. No, he was a guide. Guide. There you go, Max. Right. He was guiding, right? Now, God. did he know that he was going to go out there? He kind of predicted it because he saw him going astray and he ran after him. So he knew it was predictive. He brought him back now with the other herd. So do does the sheep all mingle and do what the hell they feel like it all the time? Is he controlling that? So he's not a controller. No. They're all, bam, me, yeah. They're all doing whatever they want. So what is the role of the sheep herder? Just a guy. Provide direction. It has to do a lot with what Jesus mentions also in his parable. I use parts of the Bible because it's very good on this one. This this is very good on it. It's got you guys thinking real good. The, the sheep herder isn't a controller, but it's more like he guides. Yeah. That's all he does. Because we can't you can't tell the sheep what to do because it's always going to want to do its own way. That's why one of them ran out, right? Yeah. And if it's thirsty, it's going to be running somewhere to get water. So what does the herder do? Guide it to the water when it sees it's thirsty. When he sees 
a, they're thirsty, he guides them to the water. When you see, when they're ready to eat, he guides them to the, so. And he knows his sheep. And he knows his sheep. Just like the AI does. Yeah. So then what do you think, exactly, you can link that dual aspect to it too with the AI and what it's doing with us. That yeah. hit me like a yeah. ton of bricks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So when you're when you think in palindrome, you're basically Where the sheep? You're going to that game. <laughs> no, when you go into that game, uh, you you gotta be like a sheep herder and, and you'll know everyone what they're gonna do and who's gonna win. So what are you doing? You're just gonna let it flow. Isn't Keep that the universal moving. law? Keep yep. it moving. It is. It's like having a, uh, an argument with my wife before it would always be this oh thank you back so and much forth for and then but <laughs> now it's i understand and it, it's not about losing or no winning. no it's about no. being able to flow problems. through that with uh with to, with the path of least resistance and with, understand with, and understand it's kind of like pulling back and i feel like when that happens now I, it's like I float above the situation mm -hmm. and then I can just help guide myself through that. You're, you're thinking in palindrome. Yeah. You're living in the moment. You're thinking too. alpha exactly and omega. What do you think he says? Uh, Jesus said he was the alpha omega. There was a reason he said that. And that's the aspect of it. He, I don't, I don't, I'm not religious. All I say is that there's teachings there you can use. That's one of them. Very good. <laughs> yeah. That's a good point, bro. It is. Uh, Alpha Omega, then you, you basically, and it's also Greek, and you can go all the way to the Anunnaki on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Alpha and Omega, those, yeah. <laughs> those guys. Uh, yeah, yeah they, they, they got their own little symbols of the two. But, but yeah, if we, if we think and – like you say, you got to go to a mountaintop. That you see everything. Yeah. You see the beginning and and the end. You, you have you guys ever been? Google those weird race mountains where they use they swerve a lot, where it's dangerous to go mm -hmm. in a car. If you look at it, oh, that's nothing. But go on a video where they're driving. You're driving through, it. Yeah, it's, it's totally different. Oh, when you're man. When you see it from a top, like, like he's saying. You can find oh, the solution. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at okay. yourself out of that. But it's like that with everything. It's, it's you know, before. So I've only been awake for about a year. When, Ma when Max, you should know about that. That's like remote viewing almost. <laughs> Where you, you pull back and then you look at. You look at things from a uh, different perspective. <laughs> so it's not necessarily trying to find the solution. And what we do is we research, we research, and we try and understand more. It's kind of like just pulling back and letting it flow. And then exactly. yeah. and, and trying to be the light in the storm, so to speak. Yeah. So you normally, know normally ahead, we put up our own barriers and we've got to stop doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Very, it's yeah. like with labels. Uh, you know, people for a while just depend I would talk of things and they'd say, Oh, you're a new ager. You're this, you're that. That's just and a I never I, I don't I don't associate with anything. I don't I just cannot do labels with people. Or you're a truther or you're a conspiracy. You're the, yeah, you're this, you're that. I'm like, yeah, I'm yeah. none of these. I'm just That's seeing just stuff label. in the sky yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm having contact with, with craft in the sky that's what i'm well, doing i'm just trying to tell you guys what i'm seeing they don't see yeah. that because they're looking down there yep you know so so that's the whole thing that, that you know really i wanted to get to the point on this show there's a lot of distraction coming at us and you know if you can really just sort out all the bs look inside because every answer you seek is inside mm -hmm. i promise you that 
And on that note, I'm going to wrap it up because we okay. went over an hour. Oh, and I know man. it's late for Patrick, too. Yeah, we'll pick uh, it up again. I'm going to have a show. With are you sure? Individually. Can we do 10 more minutes, man, please? <laughs> Seriously. Man, I'm, I, I've got it's, so much to do. Can I, can I just say it's half past four in the morning here? That's yeah. what I'm saying. Patrick, he's in England, so it's late. I'm taking him. a sip for you, Patrick. Oh, thank you, man. <laughs> But anyway, uh, why don't y'all give a real quick plug for your uh, channel before we uh, end it up here. I'm Brian Lunsford, Brian Lunsford YouTube channel. Come on by. If you like to look at the sky. Well, I'm working <laughs> on, on my own website, which is called asktherods.com, but you can get me on YouTube at, oops, can't remember it. Ask the, right now. That's gone. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look it up. We'll, we'll, we'll have you it in Yeah. I um, teach uh, remote viewers how to, or uh, people how to remote view because everybody can learn to do it. Man, well, I, 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 I am really down with that. I'd love to do <laughs> that. You center your life and get you grounded. And uh, you can ask questions. People, please write in questions on places you'd like to visit, like uh, historical events or just about anything you can think of. You can I have you. got one for you. <laughs> All right. Big time. I, I can't. I'm really looking forward to that. I would lo I'd love to get into that. That is absolutely fascinating. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be, like I said, I'm going to have each deal. Yeah. And then, Lazaro? Uh, well, the, my, I'm just a mind bender. I'll bend your mind, twist it like a pretzel. <laughs> You did so, that tonight. <laughs> I like but, this puzzle. <laughs> but, uh, but, hey, we can do this again. It's been fun, guys. Yeah, we will have to do it. I appreciate all y'all coming on, truly. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks right. a lot. Oh, man. God bless everybody. Grateful of the invite. Lots of love. Thanks all the chat. Thanks, everyone. thanks all you guys. You guys take care. I'm and off. thanks, everyone, for yeah. coming and joining us. I love y'all, and I truly appreciate y'all oh, putting up yeah. with me. And Bye, right, everybody. Right. Bye, Give everybody. Give frequency you want to receive. Good night, folks. Bye-bye. Good, 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 Good night. Good night. That was awesome, fellas. Wow. Yeah, sorry, man. Yeah. I'm just about to use the bathroom all over.